I'm Shaina from Grade 9 Legacy Bangor. The problem I'm solving today is the toxic waste that are being mixed up. The wet waste, the metal waste, all come together, and these bins don't really help. My solution consists of two parts. It helps people without any food and utensils, and workers who work in the midst of so much mixed up waste. With the bonus of the COVID-19 non-contact for people who can't reach and old and disabled, introducing the scrub to separate cautiously, rectify unanimously, and bionic. My ideation process consisted of Jamboard, which has a dust, things, wants, and feels section. People do a lot of unintentional things. So much food, so much plastic is going away without even being recycled. And people think that they're doing enough to recycle, but actually there's a lot more left. And people want to give and want to have a clean environment. They also feel pity and sometimes annoyed when their dustbins are overwhelmed and dirty. The scrub trash cans come along with a weight and that measures the amount of metal and makes analytics, which can help make laws, rules, and bionically less toxify the world into a happy place. The analytics can help lo identify locations on Google Maps for the dustbins and clean up the environment by recycling all the metal into utensils. Here's a prototype. That's a metal waste, and the metal sensor detects it. No contact necessary. And now the moisture sensor. We have a wet waste, and it automatically senses it. We don't have to touch the, the lid. No contact. As the person waits for the trash to be picked up, the sanitary worker will be informed and will be called and notified to come and pick up the trash. Meanwhile, there will be facts about what can be done with the thrown away recycled trash. For example, there can be made 400 spoons and knives and cutlery. It is very cost effective. All that's required is an Arduino board and some sensors. And the metal can is made out of the recycled trash. And I hope the scrub will change the world to a better place.